Hello, my name is Harrison, co-founder of Langchain, and I want to walk through a new thing that we're launching today, Langchain templates. So Langchain templates are intended to be the easiest and fastest way to build a production-ready LLM application. So they serve as a set of reference architectures for a wide variety of LLM cases. And they're all in a standard format that makes it really easy to deploy them with LangServe, and we'll see what that gets us. Um, so I'm going to walk through how exactly to do that and then touch on some of the features and, and benefits of Langchain templates. So in order to use Langchain templates, the first thing I'm going to do is install the Langchain CLI. So I can run this command here. And these instructions are all on the getting started page on Langchain templates. After I install the CLI, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new app. So I'm going to run this command and it's going to create a new app called My App. And if I go into my app and look around, I can see that I have two main packages, an app folder and a packages folder. So app is going to contain all the logic for running the Lang serve app. And then the packages, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add templates there. And those templates are going to be ready to use LLM applications and they're going to go into the packages folder. And so let's see how to do that by running the add command. I'm going to add pirate speak. Um, which is a template that uh, uses an LLM to convert um, uh, any, any input into pirate speak. So what it's asking me to do now is asking me to run pip install dash e packages slash pirate speak to basically install this as a dependency so I can use it freely. Um, so I'm going to click yes to that and it's going to install uh, this template and then it's going to ask me if I want to generate route code for these packages. I'm going to click yes and this is going to generate some code that I'm now going to put in my Lang serve app. So I'm going to copy this. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my code editor. I'm going to look inside app. I'm going to see that I have this file called server.py. And I'm going to edit this bit um, and put the code that I just copied there. All right. Next, I'm going to set up my Lang Smith tracing and my open AI API key. I've already done that. So I'm going to skip that for now. But you guys should make sure to do that. And then after that, I can start up the application. So I'm going to run link train start. It's going to spin up. And so what exactly is this going to get me? The first thing it's going to get me is this playground. So if I go visit this link, I get a nice little playground. Because we know the chain that you've deployed and we can inspect it, we can see that it expects one input called text. So let's put hi, if we click start, then translates that to pirate speak. Hoy there, matey. Since I've hooked up Lang Smith in the background, if I go into Lang Smith, if I go into Pirate Speak project, I can see that I just ran this run where I type in hi and I get back ahoy there, matey. One thing that I can do that's really cool, and is the cool thing about templates, is you can change templates and have the uh, uh, code updated super easily. So this doesn't install a chain that does Pirate Speak. What it does is it actually copies down the code into a folder and then installs that folder. If you edit the code in that folder, then it updates automatically. So if we go translate user input into Italian, for example, we save that. We go back to the playground. If we refresh it, and if we try I again, we can see that it translates into Italian. So this is a really easy way to pull in ready to use templates, but then also edit them and, and, and remix them after the fact. The other thing that I get when I spin up LingServe is some documentation. And this documentation uh, looks at a few different endpoints that we expose. So an invoke endpoint, which takes in one argument, returns one argument, batch, which takes in a list of arguments, returns a list of outputs, and then stream and stream log, which stream back a response, and then also stream back the intermediate steps. And so you don't have to use the playground that we created. This is just a nice little playground intended for internal development and maybe to show to internal team members. But if you want to create your own playground, you can use these production-ready endpoints to serve that, that playground or that UI in general. The, um, the, the last thing that I want to touch on is basically the list of all the templates that we have. So we've worked with a lot of awesome partners to put together a, a wide collection of use cases. So we've, got, um, we've highlighted some that are some of the most popular use cases that we see. Um, we've highlighted a lot of advanced retrieval techniques. Um, we've, we've spent a lot of effort adding a lot of templates working with open source models because we've heard a big clamoring for those. Um, and then we've got extraction and some other use cases down below. So we really intend this to be the easiest way to uh, 
browse, download, and then remix and, and make these templates your own and then deploy them with LangServe and have it all ready to go just like that. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Add some templates of your own. We're very open to contributions. And yeah, thanks.